Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boy Spilet 2K7, we are back with another Farming Simulator 17 video, I saw you guys really did enjoy the one we did yesterday, where we checked out the brand new Fire Chief vehicle and we delivered it, so since you guys did enjoy it so much, we are back with another firefighting video, today we'll be setting up the fire station guys, we are still on the Wood Meadows Farms map, as you can see we have a couple different engines here, we actually have engine 71, which is a sea grave looking very very nice there and we're gonna take a look at all of these as well we also got engine 70 which is the purest looking nice i love the radios hanging on top too on the inside very nice detail do want to give a shout out to r and r apparatus outfitters as well for making all of these amazing fire trucks for farming simulator definitely will link his page in the video description as well if you guys want to check them out we also have a tiller here tiller 70 looking very nice got the ladder up as well and we got some brush trucks got some ambulances we got a lot guys we also have the newer version of engine 71 as well so i think we may either retire the other one or will we use the other one as a spare i don't know well we got to figure it out guys let me know what you guys think we should do but there's a lot of cars here so the frame rates are a little low right now so let's go ahead and start moving some of these vehicles but as you can see we have a new brush truck over here as well and um yeah i think i don't know should we replace this older brush truck and just use the new brush truck or should we use both i don't know i was thinking about putting the brush trucks at the um volunteer station let me know let me know what you guys think we should do but anyway guys let's go ahead and start off let's um let's start with engine 70 over here guys so let's go ahead and take engine 70 first you know what let's take engine 71 let's take the new version of engine 71 guys first so let's go ahead and run over here i'm so excited to be bringing you guys this episode i'm looking forward to fighting some fires and farming simulator as well guys all right let's go ahead and turn this thing on all right looking good and this one has different controls uh, what buttons are the lights again on this one? There we go. Alright, so as you can see, very, very nice here. Got our lights flashing. Everything looks really nice. Very, very nice. Got traffic advisors in the back as well. Also have our sirens. Oh, we got the Federal Q. Beautiful. Alright, so let's start unloading or leaving this area because it's really laggy over here, guys. So let's head towards the main fire station first and just have some fun here. Let's go. Let's run cold. Now, I know in real life you would have run cold for no reason, but we're, let's run cold. Let's, um, let's try it out. Inside is very nice as well. Beautiful interior. Very, very nice, guys. Whoa, God, lost control there. All right, so let's try running cold here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got the air horns. Here we go, switch our sirens up. So this one we're not going to take to the volunteer. We're going to take this to a main station. I think there's another station over here, too. I gotta look to see how many stations are on this map. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put our controller down because we're like all over the place with our controller. So let's use mouse and keyboard. I think that's gonna do some better driving for us here. Oh! Oh! Alright, we're good, we're good. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys are excited to see some more firefighting mods here in Farming Simulator 17. Oh my! Nobody saw that, right? I don't think you guys saw that. You guys didn't see that, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, can't believe we just crashed. That's why you don't run cold for no reason, guys, because if you run cold for no reason and you get in an accident, you're gonna be in some serious trouble in real life. Luckily, this is just a game, so we could just reset, but um, yeah. So let's head towards the fire station, guys. I'm gonna try to drive a little bit more carefully this time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Firefighter mod so far. And I am looking forward to actually um, responding to some real fires as well, guys. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are excited to see the Firefighter series here in Farming Simulator. 
All right, so we're gonna have to try to plan out what we're gonna do here, guys. We gotta figure out where the heck the teller is gonna go to. It's a freaking teller. I don't know where we're gonna put that thing. All right, let's open up some of these doors. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so let's open up the doors. You can see we have the Chief Silverado here from yesterday that we delivered. You guys really did enjoy that video. If you guys didn't already watch that video, definitely go back and watch it. Alright, I think I'm going to move the Silverado over. Um, I don't have much space here. I don't know how the tiller is going to even fit in here. This is going to be a tight squeeze, guys. Alright, let's leave this one here for now. Let's tab back. Alright, let's um, let's go with the tiller next, guys. Let's grab the tiller next. Let's go ahead and start it up. We'll turn the lights on as well so you guys can check it out there. And let's go ahead and get over here so we can control the ladder. I do apologize about the frame rates. Like I said, we have so many vehicles loaded in here in this one little space. Alright, perfect. Alright. look, this is really detailed really well though. Very, very well. Cool thing is if we have another person in game we can control the rear to tell it there. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's hop into the front here. So we're gonna take this to the station. Let me know if you guys think this is gonna fit. I really do not think this is gonna fit on this map. Um, if it doesn't fit, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, what are we gonna do if it doesn't fit, guys? I don't know. Let's try to make it fit and let's hope for the best. Now a lot of these trucks do have scene lighting as well, so these spotlights do light up, which are pretty cool. Um, let's get onto the right side of the road. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that one either, right? <laughs> I accidentally disconnected that there. But um, yeah, so this is a volunteer fire station. I think I'm going to put the brush trucks over here. Maybe an ambulance too. We can squeeze an ambulance over there. I got to see. And I got to drive around the map because I think there's one more station somewhere else too. I forgot. I haven't been on this map in a while since we like piled it out. Um, I got to drive around and see if there's another station anywhere. I don't remember if it's two or three on this map. I think it's two. I know on the other map we play on, when we play on the um, Moen map, I know there's three on that station, but I'm not sure how many are on this one. If anybody knows, let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, if you guys do enjoy this episode, make sure you guys do me a favor, smash that like button, guys. It definitely does help me out. Let me know what videos you guys like, what you don't like. So if you do like this and want to watch some more, definitely let me know by leaving some comments and hitting that like button guys all right so we're coming up on the fire station here shortly we can already see the lights from the engine also let me know what should we do with the extra engine as well should we retire it uh, should we just keep the new one and retire the old one should we use the old one as a spare let me know what we should do all right it's gonna be a challenge here trying to park this by myself all right let's see what we can do I think we could just park it as if it was like a tractor trailer. Probably gonna have to turn traffic off though. Alright. I'll try to put in that bay all the way in the end. And of course traffic doesn't give a damn what I'm doing. Right, let's turn traffic off for a second. Now in real life there'll be a person steering the rear would make this a little bit easier. Also, did any of you guys watch that new show, um, Station 19? I caught it by accident last week, and it was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool show. It's um, pretty much a show about, was it Seattle Fire, I think? Is it Seattle or Sacramento? I forgot. I think it's Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. It's pretty cool. Uh, straighten up a bit. Is it going to fit, guys? Is it going to fit? Moment of truth. I think we may be able to squeeze it in here, though. Oh yeah, we're good. We got plenty of space, guys. No, we don't. But I think we're okay. 
barely fits, guys. We are in. We pretty much parked it pretty straight, too. That's straight that we can get, really. Alright, we're in here, guys. We're in here. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. Turn the engine off. Let's get out. Let's see how much space we had back there. Oh, we just freaking hit the wall. I thought we had more space. All right. We have some space up front, so let's pull forward. Alright, so that's good. Um, we're going to be a two-engine house since I think we only have... I don't know. i, I got to figure out what we should do. For now, I'm going to put two, at least two engines here. But we have so much equipment. I got to see what should we do with that tanker as well. I think the tanker may go in the volunteer station too. I don't know. Alright, let's turn everything off. We can also put some of the trucks we don't use as much in the back too. So, if the tanker can't fit in the other station, I could probably put it here. Let's start taking the brush trucks out. So let's start the brush truck. Let's turn the lights on. Oh, this has a stage three lighting as well, like the ambulance. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, the ambulances. We gotta put the ambulances somewhere, guys. This is a really nice truck here. So this is brush 70. Very, very nice. Got our sirens. It's a nice F550 here. All right, so let's go ahead and take this to the, oops, to the station. I guess we could turn traffic back on to be a little realistic here. Oh, this thing is pretty fast here. Oh, my controller is so bad with the steering. I think I need a new controller because my controller, it's like making us turn left even though we're not even turning. Alright, let's see how much space we have here. We do not have too much space here. We kind of do though. So, I'm thinking... Oh no, this takes up space here. Alright, so the tanker is definitely not going to fit here. Unless we like really squeeze it in. Maybe we'll put this at the new station maybe? We could probably squeeze this into the new station. Alright, let's um... Let's move some more of our apparatus here. We gotta figure this out, guys. So let's cut that off. Let's uh, move. Oh my god, we're tapping through like every vehicle. Alright. Alright, um, let's see. We're definitely gonna put this in the old station and the, the, um, should we keep this? Brush 72, should we keep it? I like it. I don't know, let me know. Alright, we're gonna put this in the um, volunteer station for sure. Most of the brush fires would be on this side of the map anyway, so I think it's better to have this on this side of the map, because this is where all the brush area really is, so that will cut down on response time by having it over here already, at least what I'm thinking flag looks beautiful there too. Love that flag there. So for our first firefighter episode guys, what vehicles should we use? What should we respond with guys? Or should we put both of these over here man? I'm gonna really need you guys help. I hope you guys do leave a lot of comments because I really I'm gonna need you guys help for this one guys. There's so much stuff we gotta do. So little space we have. So much stuff to fit in here guys. Alright, I'm gonna back this up all the way to the wall because I wanna see if we can fit like two trucks on this side. It's gonna be hard, but let me see. I'm I think I wanna put this at the new station though. I don't know. Alright, let's get the other brush truck in the meantime. I gotta get rid of some of these extra vehicles we don't need. Alright, um... Alright, we got another engine. Um, hmm. So let's take the Seagrave next to the other station. We'll take the ambulance at the station too. Now I wanted to have an ambulance at the volunteer station, but there's just not enough space. 
I really don't know what we're gonna do here, guys. Let me just check something really quickly here. Sorry about all this tabbing back and forth. Alright, this is 71 here. Alright. Alright, so there's two 71s here, so let's take engine 70 first. Wait, is the numbers mixed up? Because, hmm, let's take, let's take both 71s. Let's just take everything. We'll figure it out once we'll get over there. So we still have another engine, terminals, and a tanker. That tanker does not look like it's going to fit in that station at all. It's probably gonna have to go to the main station. I'm thinking. So maybe we'll take the maybe we'll take the tanker to the main station. I'm thinking that's probably gonna be the best bet here. I really want to have an ambulance in the volunteer station though too. So oh my god, the steering is so hard over here. It's not on the truck. It's my controller. I'm using mouse and keyboard, but my controller is still making us turn a little bit. I love the Q siren though. Very nice. I'm also looking forward to um the Square Farms map coming out as well. Um, I think I may switch to that map once it comes out. Or maybe we'll use this map and that map. I'll see. Maybe we'll do some series over here. We'll do some series over there. But I do like Square's map. Alright, so we're back at the station here, guys. Alright, so we already have an engine 71. So it looks like one is the velocity pierce and one is the C grave. I definitely want to have the C grave too, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the C grave. Hmm. So many trucks here, guys. Or maybe we could put on if we back them all the way up, maybe we could fit more side by side, maybe. But we can't have them too close because we're not going to be able to get into them efficiently. We do have to be efficient too. Alright, we're going to put this here for now until we figure out what exactly we want to do. Alright, so we got that. Um, run out of space. So I'm thinking maybe the tanker could fit behind the chief truck because the tanker we're not gonna need like on every run most runs are gonna be able the engine's gonna be able to handle it with the hydrants you know but if we have a fire in like a rural area then definitely we'll need to bring the tanker hmm what should we do what should we do all right let's go let's go grab the tanker all right let's grab the tanker and we still got the am oh my god, we still got the ambulances too. We need a we need somewhere to put the ambulances, guys. We're gonna need somewhere to put the ambulances. I mean, I don't know how else it's gonna work out. Alright, so I'm gonna see if the tanker could fit in the brush station or in the volunteer station. I guess I should just rename the volunteer station to the brush station. Do you guys think it's a good idea having the brush trucks at a different station or should we kind of mix them? Have some at the main station and have some at the, um, at the volunteer station? Or should we put the older trucks at the volunteer station and we put the new the new F550 brush truck, should we put that one at the new station? Let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. I really want to have an ambulance in here too, but I do not think we're going to have any space for an ambulance. This tanker is going to take up this whole side here. So nothing else can fit over here. Yeah, nothing else is going to be able to fit there. Um... Hmm, I'm thinking we should put this one at the new station, the bigger station, or should we squeeze it in there? We could probably kind of squeeze the ambulance in here too, maybe. Hmm. 
All right, let's um, let's get that last engine over there first, and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. All right, so let's get this one over there. So all we got left is two ambulances, guys, and then we have a, all of our equipment. Now I hope I didn't do all this work just to have a third station. If there's a third station, I'll just go move. Maybe we'll put like a mm, we'll put an engine and like. We'll put it. I'll see what we'll put. I'm not sure. I'm going to see. If there's a third one, I'll see where it's at. And I'll give them either an engine or a brush truck or an engine and an ambulance. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Probably an engine and a brush truck. Maybe I have one. I don't know. It's so, so complicated here. Alright. Let's get back over here. I also want to thank you guys over 187,000 subscribers as well. We're nearly already at 188,000 subscribers. So really am happy that you guys are enjoying the videos. And like I said, make sure you guys help out by hitting that like button. That lets me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like there. So technically we have two engine 70s. So we gotta figure out what to do. I don't know which engine 70 should we keep. I wanted to have the C grade. Oh man, I didn't want to give up the C grade. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know which one should we keep, guys. So many options here. These fire trucks are way too close. We would not be able to like get in realistically with like our equipment on and stuff. Let's see if we can spread them out a little bit more. Um, yeah, these trucks are kind of too close to each other. Let me move this one over a little bit. So, the last would be the ambulance, I think. So maybe we should put the... I don't know. I'm trying to think which engine would be the extra engine. I could put the chief truck right here for now because... If all three engines are responding to a call, that means the chief will be responding too. So we'll, we'll just block one engine that way. The other two and the truck could always respond out, and if it's like a serious call or a serious job, by the time that the third engine's responding, we'll be responding as well as the chief, so we're going to park this right here. And all we gotta do is grab the ambulances now, guys. Sorry for all this tab in here, I know we could just click on the map, that would probably be the easiest thing to do. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the crew cab, I think we're going to put this one in the um, main station. Let's see if we can squeeze this one into the volunteer station. If this works, that would be amazing. If it doesn't, I don't know. We're going to have to figure out something, guys. I forgot to look at some of the interiors of the other vehicles, too. I love how you could do more than one siren too. Alright, we're on scene here. Oh, we still got that brush truck too. Oh my god. Oh god. There's just no space for all of our equipment here. There's no way this ambulance is fitting in here. Yeah, we, we need a bigger station, guys. We need a bigger station, alright. Oh my god, traffic is so terrible. 
Alright, we're gonna need a bigger station. We've got too much equipment. So let me know what should we do with the extra equipment. Should we keep everything? Should we get rid of anything? Should we retire anything? Should we put anything outside? I really don't want to have anything outside, but... I don't know. What should we do? So this is just going to have to be really close to the this side here. But there's still space for them to, the passenger to get on on that side. Alright, so let's see if we can squeeze this ambulance in. Oops. Also, do you guys think we should roleplay EMS calls? Or should we just stick to, like, fire calls? Oh, this could fit in here. Okay, perfect. So we could fit the ambulance and the brush truck in here comfortably. Alright, perfect. So that fits. That fits. So the volunteer station looks good. Looks perfect. If I really wanted to, I could probably squeeze the brush truck in there as well. Um, let's go grab that ambulance and let's see where we're going to put that. So this ambulance is a crew cab. The other one was just a um, two door. This one is four door. So we're going to put this in the main station. Alright, so we're almost done with this video guys. Like I said all the, the whole time, I really do hope you guys do enjoy it. Alright, let's see, where are we gonna put this ambulance? So everything fits, right? I think everything's good. I think everything's good guys, so... I think everything fits. Well, we saw that other brush truck. Um, so I, I guess the other brush truck we'll put over here, maybe. Yeah, we'll probably put the other brush truck here and then maybe put the ambulance in front of it. That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't think we could really... We could squeeze it in here. We could squeeze it in here. Let's see. My thing is, I want us to be able to bring out our equipment easily. Like, if we need to bring the tanker out, I, I want to just be able to pull out and not have to worry about moving all the other vehicles out the way, you know? So, let me know. Should this one go to the main station or should it stay here? Let me know what you guys think about that. But, um, yeah, guys, we got everything set up for the most part. Everything looks somewhat okay. This station is really a tight squeeze, but it is a volunteer station, so this is kind of a good place for us to keep our extra equipment and stuff that the volunteers are going to be using. Yeah, I think it's okay here. So I think I think I think we did okay, guys. I think we put everything in a decent place. So let me know how we did. Um, rate our placement on a scale of one to ten. Do we do okay? Oh, I think I'm stuck. Uh oh, can I jump? Oh, okay, okay, that works. There we go. Alright, so yeah, rate our placement on a scale of 1 to 10. Let me know what you guys think we did. Let me make sure I saved. Because I always freaking back out of the game without saving. After I did all this work, that would suck. Alright, so we saved. Everything's looking good. So we're going to go ahead and close these doors here. And we'll close this one too. 
So this station is looking perfect. That's our volunteer fire department. And like I said, if there's a third station, we'll just put a couple of the trucks into the third station. So over here now. I think this station's okay. I could probably, because we have a lot of space by that tiller over there. We have a lot of space by the tiller, so maybe, maybe we'll put the, um, We can put this ambulance right here, maybe. Only reason I have the trucks so far back is because, um, since there's so many engines here, if I have them all here, one of them won't be able to pull straight out. So if I put it on back, they could all pull out for it because the ambulance come out here. That engine could come out through here or through here. This engine could come out through here. This one come out through here. And I think we have enough space over here, guys. Uh-oh. Controller dead. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. There we go. Yeah, I think we have more space over here. Let me see if I can position the tiller a little bit better. Let's see if we get the tiller a little bit more over. In real life, you'll have two drivers, so it will be a little easier to operate. See, that just made a lot of space there, so I think that's okay. Yes, yeah, so I just made a lot more space right there. So, we could definitely move the engines over now. So let's move these over. I, I still don't want to move it over too much, because I want the tiller does need a lot of space. So we're not going to go fully in their bay, but we're kind of going to just sit in their bay a little bit like that. And this way, everybody has space. Oops. This way, everybody has space. Everybody could get... I keep getting to the same one. Anybody get in and out of the trucks? So yeah, this looks a lot better now that we have more space. There's walking room now, which is good. Perfect, perfect. Alright, that's perfect. Let's get in this one now. I think everything is good now, guys. We have plenty of space now. We have the ambulance running over here. Alright, so I got an ambulance. And right, we got one at the volunteer station. And this, I'll just squeeze the chief right here. Alright, so this is pretty perfect now because now the ambulance can get in and out without me blocking them. The engine could get in and out as well. And then if I, the chief got to get out, they could back up and get out too. So I think this station is now perfect, guys. So. Give me a rate and let me know how I did. So anyway, guys, really do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys want to see more Farming Simulator mods, definitely the Firefighter mods, definitely let me know by leaving some comments down below in the video description and hitting that like button. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!